we'll discuss one more problem the centers of the circles are a comma c b comma c now center is given their radical axis is y axis all of you know that equation of y axis is x is equal to 0 the radius of one circle is r then the radius of the other circle is we need to find out so let r be the radius of circle with center a comma c and capital r b the radius of the circle with center b comma c once you know the center and the radius you can write the equation of circle so x minus c whole square plus y minus c whole square is equal to r square and x minus b whole square plus y minus c whole square is equal to capital R square. The moment we get two circles here, straight away you can write radical axis. So, radical axis is given by radical axis of two circles is s minus s dash equal to 0. That means take subtraction minus 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 gets cancelled. Now expand x square plus a square minus 2ax here minus x square minus b square plus 2bx is equal to r square minus r square according to the problem he says that radical axis is y axis so y axis equation y axis equation of y axis is x is equal to 0 so wherever x is there substitute 0 of course x square gets cancelled here a square minus 2a into 0 minus b square plus 2b into 0 is equal to r square minus r square now a square minus b square equal to r square minus capital r square please remember we require the radius of the other circle so expected circle is capital R with radius. Now we need to find out capital R square. Bring R square to this side, these two terms to that side. So R square is equal to R square minus A square plus B square. Capital R is equal to square root of R square minus A square plus B square. So from options, option C is correct.